Good morning, my friends, and welcome to Chester Bowl. This is this unbelievably park, unbelievably park? This is this unbelievably beautiful little park, smack dab in the middle of a residential neighborhood here in Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, and this park and others like it are the reason I love it here. These, are, these little parks are just kind of peppered all through this town, and it's fabulous. But we're here this morning to capture time lapse of this great little creek. Just running through the park here. And this creek is not wide. In fact, it's maybe a foot wide right here where I'm gonna set up. But my idea this morning is to set this slider up, the time-lapse slider, spanning the creek, and then just kind of getting a little movement left to right. So I'm gonna set you down, kind of figure out exactly what, I'm like, what, my, what I want my composition to be, uh, and get going. So I'm gonna put you down, get set up, and we'll check back in and see how it's all working out. Well, I think I figured out where I want to be. I'm going to set the tripod up, the slider up low over the river here, shooting back. It should give me these two little cascades in the fall. Um, and then I should get this nice little movement across. But I'm going to, it's going to take me a few minutes to get the slider set up, timing set, figure out exposure, all that fun stuff. So uh, just wanted to check back in with you, show you kind of what I'm looking at and what I'm thinking about, uh, which is here. Come with me, little fellow. Kind of a representation of what we're looking at. We've got this fall coming in down here, and it just trickles up. And then the idea is that this shot is gonna move a little something like that. But I'm gonna take a moment here, get the slider set up, get everything figured out and programmed, uh, and then we'll check back in when it's running. So, watch me set it up. That's it, it's all set up and running. Nothing to do now but wait. Uh, shooting at about half a second exposure, F11, ISO 100, no polarizers or anything. Movement of the camera, could it could introduce some trouble in post-processing. Um, so it's just straight shot like that. Half second exposure, a little blur in the water because it's pretty, uh, and that's it, straightforward. Now we just wait for it to do its thing. All right, time lapse is done shooting. Now we're just gonna check our frames to make sure everything's in focus. Movement's good, nothing unexpected happened. Uh, believe it or not, I think we got away with the whole day without any people in the frame. I was worried about that. I was worried there were gonna be a lot of people here this morning, and there aren't, which is surprising, because uh, it's a beautiful day. But we look to be good and sharp on all these frames, <coughs> which is fantastic. So, with that, I'm gonna move down the falls here a little bit. There's another little shot I see, um, just a quick little still shot. I'm gonna move down there, get this shot, and then I think maybe we'll call it a day. Looks like the rain clouds might be starting to move in. All right, we're all set up on our little waterfall scene here, uh, and it's super simple and great. Um, we've got the waterfall cascading down left to right and diagonally through my frame. 
And then up at the top of the falls are these three trees just standing on the cliff edge growing up. Uh, we're gonna be cutting off the top of the trees. This isn't a super tall, this is really focused in on the waterfall. But I'll uh, throw, throw a polarizer on the front of the camera, take the glare off the rocks, and um, show you my framing and what I'm talking about with this polarizer all the time. You see the framing here, we've got, got our falls cascading nice and diagonal through, and our three trees up here at the top. But this polarizer on the front is just taking a little bit of glare off that rock. You can see as I turn it, those rocks get a little darker. And that's just kind of, it helps kind of preserve a little detail on those rocks and gives me a nice contrast between the water and the rocks. And that's why I use that polarizer as much as I do. Um, and just, again, remove some, remove some glare, increase some contrast. Uh, depending on circumstances, it'll saturate your colors. Uh, and that's, that's the reason behind that. Uh, now, the settings behind the shot are F8, ISO 100, two second timer, uh, two second shutter speed. Click, and it's done. That's really simple and really pretty. And I like it. Well, all right, my friends. I think we're gonna call that a day. It's a short day and a simple day, but a fantastic day. Um, I think we got a fun little time lapse up there at the top, and then we got this little bonus shot here at the bottom of the falls. So, I just wanna take this opportunity to thank you for coming along with me. Please, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you wanna see more, and tell your friends, cause the more the merrier. And from Chester Bowl Park here in Duluth, Minnesota, so long, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.